I'm Natalie, and this is Ali. Hi. And baby Maro, he is four weeks old, and this little guy is struggling with a little bit of tummy upset um, after feeding. And we think it's likely because mom has a very, very forceful and fast letdown. So Ali, can you explain a little bit of what's been going on for your, your breastfeeding journey? Yeah, um, I guess we, yeah, we've, when he first was born, he kind of struggled to latch and um, just kind of struggled to figure it out. And then maybe after a week, it seems like he got it, but then he was constantly like choking, coughing, screaming, <laughs> um, just because there was constantly felt like there was milk everywhere um and so just i didn't know what i was doing and i didn't know that that wasn't normal um <laughs> and so yeah basically over the last couple weeks we've just kind of figured out that i have a really forceful letdown yeah um and so we've kind of tried different things like different positioning um for nursing or like pulling him off or um, kind of expressing a little bit before um awesome. to just see what works yeah. and so now he's doing a lot better but Good. still yeah we're kind of um Usually I'll just pull him off when there is a letdown. Yeah. Put the um, put like a burp cloth over and um, that usually let him spray and then let him go again. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So with oversupply, babies tend to gain weight very very rapidly. They tend to have many many teeth and poops. Sometimes they're a little bit fussy or gassy, and it, that's just because their body's digesting all of this milk going through. So some tips tips and tricks for oversupply management is once baby gets latched, leaning back with him, there you go, if you get his head higher than the level of the breast, that helps him to control the, the flow of milk. So I always tell people when you're sitting straight up, it's kind of like a garden hose that's pouring out of you, and the baby can only handle so much, especially if mom has a really fast letdown. So if you notice, if you put your baby on, he starts kind of choking and sputtering or clicking, anything like that, lean back with him this will get you in a laid back hold it doesn't need to be the traditional flat on your back hold just enough to get the baby's head a little bit higher than the level of the breast and then he actually there's two ways he controls the flow of milk better this way also gravity holds the milk back a little bit more so this is really good another thing that happens like you said is if a big letdown comes and he pulls off and it's just too much for him you can absolutely release him, let that let that spray go until it slows down, and then put him back on when he's ready for more. A lot of these babies with oversupply, they they develop almost a um, like a compensation to the flow. So of course their airway is also where they're swallowing the milk, so they want to protect their airway so they can breathe. So a lot of times these babies don't latch very deep. Because if they latch super, super deep, they're gonna get huge, huge yeah. mouthfuls of milk. And when the letdown is already so strong, you're gonna hear them go <coughs> and yeah. choke and sputter on the breast. So the way they compensate is they pull back on the breast a little bit to get a little less deep latch. So other ways of compensations that babies do is sometimes you'll hear them click. And a lot of times with clicking, that's a loss of suction. So it can be an, a number of things. Like he just clicked. I don't know if you guys were able to hear it. Hear that clicking? So little Maro doesn't have a tongue tie, but he is getting fast flows of milk. So what happens sometimes is he'll actually click and pull off with that tongue. So he's not maintaining as deep of a latch just in order to compensate. And you can see this milk is pouring out of his mouth right now. So let's just, let's watch what happens to him. Let's see. So he pulled back all on his own, kind of telling us, oh, telling us that is a lot of milk. I don't know if I can handle all that at one time. In the early days, this is really, really difficult for moms and babies mm -hmm. because you're trying to feed all the time and babies can't quite compensate. They don't know the full compensation yet. This little guy seems to have kind of figured it out. He's looking yeah. really, really good. <laughs> And another thing you can do um, to help if he's, if he's having um, like really loose stools or seeming mm -hmm. really, really gassy, you can try doing one breast per feed. Okay. One thing about that, that is, that is called block feeding. One thing about block feeding is it is very, very effective at lowering your milk supply, okay. which some moms with oversupply or overactive letdown, they want that a little bit just right. so it's a little easier. But I highly recommend if anybody is planning on trying block feeding, definitely make sure you're connected with your local IBCLC to work with you to make sure that we don't decrease your supply too fast.